deforestation in the world's most biodiverse savanna won't be tracked after reaching its highest level since 2015. From August 2020 to July 2021, 3,293 square miles of the Cerrado was clear-cut, an almost 8% increase from the deforestation in the previous year, and the highest level since 2015. Now, Brazil will stop tracking the Cerrado due to a lack of funding, according to a researcher from INPE, Brazil's Space Research Agency. Brazil will reportedly keep a minimal team to report monthly deforestation numbers, but the funding will run out within six months, according to Claudio Almeida, the coordinator of INPE's monitoring program, which has been tracking the deforestation. O que precisa acontecer agora é uma enorme mobilização, incluindo o Congresso Nacional e o Judiciário Brasileiro, para garantir que o Executivo, que o governo Bolsonaro, destine os recursos necessários para a continuidade desse monitoramento. Many are calling for Jair Bolsonaro, Brazil's president, to do more to protect the ecosystems. Bolsonaro became president in 2019 and has since weakened environmental protections. The Cerrado is sometimes called an upside-down forest, as its deep roots and soils sequesters a majority of its carbon, which is about 118 tons of carbon per acre. The savanna covers more than 20% of Brazil's land area, about the size of Greenland. It is the second largest biome in South America and the most biodiverse savanna in the world. The Cerrado is said to contain more than 11,000 native plant species, 45% of which are endemic, and more than 1,600 animal species. Currently, only 20% of the Cerrado's original vegetation remains, and less than 3% of that is protected. Esse monitoramento é extremamente importante para as agências de fiscalização traçar suas estratégias de combate ao crime ambiental e à ilegalidade. Sem monitoramento, fica muito mais fácil para os criminosos continuarem desmatando aquela região. <música>